me driving and he's talking about whatever. Um, this time of the year in this state isn't that happy, really. It, it's, uh, it gets dark early, obviously, and the rain, 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 and rain. And this year there haven't been very many houses that have been doing many lights. And some of the ones that do, do it to the point of gaudiness. Um, really not much that's that tasteful. This time of the year is, is just depressing for me. It used to not be. But it, there's just so many memories now associated with, with this time of the year that it just doesn't It's just not that great for me. I know it's not that great for a lot of others, too. Um, right now, it's... it's having these memories of when I went to Eureka. And as there are some good memories associated with it, it's also this reminder of how I couldn't make it there even when I had help. I had financial help, a lot of it. And I wasn't able to cut it there without a vehicle with the grocery store, the closest grocery store to where I was staying was like a couple miles away. Um, it just... And then at first the place I was staying seemed alright, and then there was the meth lady in the back who sold her body for meth. That's how she'd get paid for her prostitute work. Um, she would bring people over that would say things loudly like, I'm gonna bash a fucking faggot and stuff like that, and that just didn't make me very comfortable. Um, and I found out that the reason why there were so many of the scruffy looking types of people that I, I personally thought were really attractive, were all homeless. Which is nothing against the, the, the people themselves, but it's just... In a, in a town that the crime rate was so high, uh, uh, non-violent crime, it wasn't violent crime, but it was non-violent crime, you know? In a city that the, the, the non-violent crime was so high, I got sold a hot bike and had to give it back. Um, And that I couldn't even... If my computer would have arrived and I was still going to be staying there, you know, it probably would have been stolen. There was no way to keep the, that my computer secure. And the place I was staying was so shitty that if I would have tried to turn on my computer, it would have just turned right off from the circuit breaker going off. So... Not fun. And then I think about what I went through at the place I was staying before then, you know, here in, in Washington State. I was in Renton with uh, someone I can still consider a friend, but he's just letting these meth addicts walk all, walk all over him. Um, Uh, 
a, a triad, uh, people that are in a triad relationship, and all of them are meth addicts. He's trying to tell me, though, they've get, gotten past most of that, and I, I just don't, I just don't know if I believe him on that. But, uh, man, this, the, I, uh, most of my stuff, I don't know, uh, two-thirds of my stuff got absorbed by them. Uh, the stories I could tell about the, them. <laughs> uh, it was the only time I was ever violent towards someone, ever. One of them I punched square in the nose. Bam. I'm just not... After that, I, I just, I put on any of my profiles for, for hookup apps, uh, no PNP, period, no, PNP means party, uh, uh, uh par what does that mean now? I thought it was party and play, it's, uh, yeah, I think it's party and play, and it basically means that they, they do things to enhance their sexual experience, and I don't want to be with anyone who, who wants to do meth. No, just no. I've already seen it ruin a bunch of people's lives, but uh, after living with them for those three for almost a year, and you know, they still haven't paid rent to my friend. They still, there are three of them living there, none of them paying rent. My friend has gotten so screwed over by them. So incredibly screwed over by them. It's just sad. No matter what they do, I don't think you'll be successful in kicking them out. You probably have to have a court order. And then... What is he going to do at that point, you know? Anyway, um, so I'm just going for a drive. I'm going to go to a place that I'm not supposed to go because I'm a gay man or a bi man. Oh, they're anti-gay. Well, I'm going to Chick-fil-A. Got good food there for fast food, anyway. Best chicken sandwiches I've ever had, as far as somewhere you know, separate to go. I'm sure there are some expensive restaurants where I could get some that's, that's better than that, but uh, I'm not paying you know 15 20 dollars for a goddamn sandwich. So. Um, there's no, I'm just kind of treating myself today because I'm a little depressed and I, I, I can't really figure out why. It's silly though the whole uh, let's ban Chick-fil-A because the uh, the owners the owners don't like they they have anti-gay beliefs and I'm like well as long as they're not having anti-gay policies towards their employees or their or the customers I, I just don't see an issue why, why is it any of my business what, what the belief system of the person or people that own a company make. As long as they're not actually doing something with a company that's anti-gay, what what's what business is it of a mind? That just seems strange to me. That's always seemed strange to me. When we're back with uh, uh, an award show, it was a long time ago, uh, 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 time when uh, Eminem first got popular and he was at this awards show and Oh, we need to boycott the awards show because they have Eminem there, and Eminem is anti-gay. I'm like, what? What? I, I, 
I've never understood that mindset. I just don't get it. The only time we should be boycotting a company for, for their stances on things is if their policies reflect their stances. That's how I feel about it anyway. Um, And as I say that I'm kind of depressed and don't know why on it, it's, it's it's this weather. It's we're just con it's constant rain. I mean, if we had some snow, at least something would look wintry. There'd be something pretty to look at, you know. And we never our snow never really lasts long here, with rare rare exception. You know, our snow doesn't last long here. So. It'd be nice just to have a little bit of it. Supposedly, we're supposed to have some uh, on Christmas Eve and on Christmas, which would be neat, but I doubt it's going to happen. Um, probably just going to continue to be rain. Tacoma Mall's on the right this long way around so I can make right turns because in order to get into this parking lot that Chick-fil-A is in, it also has Ashton Furniture in it, it's, uh, you can't make a left turn into it. It's, I mean, you could, but it's not a legal move, so, you know, bust a move. There's a transit center on the left, but you probably couldn't see it. starting to get hot. Oh, well. Shit. Well, I did so many tests. Uh, test footage before I started recording this one that it's no wonder why it's getting hot already, so. One thing I don't like about this camera is how quickly it gets too hot. Just out of regular use. In, uh, on video anyway. I mean, it does fine on photos, but once you record video, it doesn't matter what mode you're recording in, it's the, the sensor and the, the electronics, they didn't really put good enough uh, heat sinks in it. And I don't know of any way of, I mean, maybe I could jerry-rig the camera or something so it would, uh, Know, put some extra heat sinks in it or something, but then I'd never have the warranty. Um, so, and if the thing overheats too many times, and you know I, it is under warranty, I can get it replaced or fixed or whatever. So, I'll just put up with it overheating a lot. Backside of the mall, post office is coming up. time is not worth it anymore. If you've considered going to Taco Time, don't bother. They're so overpriced for what you get. You, you, in order to get enough food to be satisfied, you're, you're paying sit-down restaurant prices for fast food. No thanks. It comes up, there's an old uh, Arby's with the old uh, sign on it. I don't see many of the ones with the old sign anymore. They're usually the, the new logo. And, uh, doo -doo -doo. okay, I'm gonna come into here. Yeah, this, this is the worst parking lot for <laughs> setup I've, I've seen for a place, but I tell you, it's sure, it's sure popular. Chick-fil-A is. 
and on the back side of Ashley Furniture. We have got all these barricades. It seems like they're going to continue to have to have just to have this work. And then come into here, and I'm going into Chick fil A. Compact, huh? Alright. Mm -hmm. Compact it is. And now I'm going in, so. That was really good. It was really bad and had a... Uh, <clears throat> I had two chicken sandwiches. And, uh, and a milkshake. Spent too much money, but... Uh, That's a stupid parking lot, just the worst. Anyway, um, <clears throat> it was really good. Focus may not be as good this time as last time. I may uh, stop to make the focus a little bit better. I focused on things that are a little closer to the camera. So I'm going to make a right up here. Huh. The person behind me did not go the right way. I'm probably not going the right way right now either because I can't see where the lines are. Alright, whatever. That car right there is a good thing to focus on. So let's try that. There we go. That should be better. Not quite as close, but it's a reasonable distance. Macy's. Formerly the Mon Marche. <clears throat> I don't know why they didn't totally change the building, because that was still a somewhat classy building front, except for the they have these on one part of it they got these rocks. There's this time where they, they there is this common thing of having different types of rocks or stones of assorted types as the actual siding of a place. And they have that on the bottom part of it. Wow, it's already 9.28 p.m. <clears throat> Didn't know it had gotten that late. <clears throat> but uh, now I'm not even sure what to talk about. <laughs> This is just gonna. This is just gonna be kind of a boring video, and uh, I was thinking about when I was in Chick Fil A. Though the the customer service there is better than any fast food place I've ever been. I mean, they treat their customers like gold there. I can't really say I've experienced that before anywhere else, except at an expensive restaurant. So... <clears throat> the RBC 
sign, the old Arby's. much to see in this video. I'm going to be getting on I-5 here in just a few moments. And I'm going to have to kind of degrade the quality of this video in order to make it a reasonable upload size. So. use up my uh, weekly quota. So spent way too much money. <laughs> I spent way too much money.
I did get paid a little bit more uh, a couple days ago for helping someone with their computer, so. <clears throat> I did have a little bit more than I normally do. And I didn't spend as much as I would spend if I was to have gone to a sit-down restaurant, so. It's not like spending the same amount at uh, taco time and not getting jack shit in a mouth of food, so. was interesting, wasn't it? I don't know what this van is going to do. <clears throat> I think that's a Toyota. Not a very good period, I don't think, for them. That's a really ugly van in my opinion. But at least it's not the one they had in the early 80s of, uh, that you sat on the engine. It was a minivan and you sat on the engine. They made those for a number of years. And then, um, Daihatsu had a van that looked very similar but even uglier. Sitting on the engine, you have to move the seat, like flip the seat forward, and there's the engine. <clears throat> I wonder if there's ever going to be another vehicle made that has the engine in the back. the old bugs, like the old beetles. And on the left is uh, Baker Middle School. And every weekend, they'll have these huge signs just all over the, the, the lawn in the front of the thing. Uh, no church experience required. It's a church service by the Boys and Girls Club. And I've always just sort of wondered um, what would uh, what's your thing? Um, How people would react to a church being on school property if it was, uh, you know, if, if they made the school temporarily a Muslim mosque? You know, would there be a bunch of outrage over it? I, I think it's strange to have a public school building being used as a church. I mean, I know they're, they're paying for the use of the property, but it's still weird to me. I assume that they're paying for that property, for to use the property. But, uh, and you know, the thing that I was saying about uh, what I thought was a huge, holy shit, the two people that had those skateboards, that was almost like the size of a damn surfboard. What kind of skateboard is that? And it had the wheels on the bottom. That was weird. That was weird. We're 
down this street. You can see this house here has some lights. And there's one on the left here that has some lights. And one of those stupid blow up snowman thing. There's this house here on the right that has some lights. this one. That's not bad. That's not too bad. Compared to, to many years ago, though, it's just not that many. There's this one little one on, on the right right here. Some things you can see during the uh, during the day, but no lights. So anyway, 